Welcome back to the show. Joe Zagacki, Don Bailey Jr., Josh Darrow, Miami, and Virginia Tech at Hard Rock Stadium. Hokies, 5-5, five and five, a little bit like the University of Miami. They won two of their last three. A couple weeks ago, they were dead in the water. Now they won two or three. They're trying to get to a bowl game. They're a tough football team. The Miami-Virginia Tech series has been epic. Mm -hmm. There's been great wins there, great wins here. We've lost there, they've lost here. Back in the Beamer days, it was special teams, defense, until Michael Vick got there, and enough offense and a running game to beat you. They're still physical. They're still a tough team to beat. They are well coached. They're sitting at the same record. There's a lot to play for. Their seniors are playing Miami last time. Senior day for Miami, but more importantly, it's a bowl game. And to me, and I, you know, I still think that's a lot when you're in college football, especially if you're a senior. You got to get that taken care of, and you know you got one more week. Well, we uh, spent a week ago talking about the rivalry with Florida State. And I think for most people, when the schedule comes out, the first game you look towards is Florida State. What's the second one? Virginia Tech. Yeah. Virginia Tech, right? It's, it's the nature of college football. It's the nature of the rivalry, the matchup, the intensity. It's the nature of two you know, storied programs that kind of came up in and, of, in and around the same time uh, with Frank Beamer. And so now the, the, the names and the, the mascots and the, the nicknames, it all means something. And they're also coming, they're coming to your home. They're coming into your backyard. And, you know, Miami took a, took a little bit of a, a punch last week. And now you got you to gotta punch back. And, and you got a lot to fight for. You gotta fight to finish the season, fight to send out your seniors, fight to get to a bowl game, fight to finish on top of 500. You're playing, there's a lot to play for, and you're playing against someone that should bring out the best of you. Burmeister had uh, three touchdown passes last week against Duke, career high for him. Uh, five plays with 20 yards or more going into the game. I think they only had 19 of those type of plays. But he's fast. He's pretty accurate. He, uh, he can be a problem. Now, he's banged up. So Miami's going to have to uh, you know, chase him around a little bit, and he's going to have to fight through some injuries. I think he's underrated. I think the fact that he runs the football so well and he's got top end speed. Some guys are right to left or search a, a little quick and take a dive. But I think he's, he's got speed. He's got an arm that's big enough. Uh, to make things difficult on anybody. But their personality to me is still running the football. They, they've got a big, strong offensive line. They've got a power game that is successful, and that's what they're made out to do. And yeah, I think also their head coach is going to have similar, a similar game plan to what maybe we saw at Florida State. Well, you just look at the numbers, you know they want to run the football. Mm -hmm. But they're going to run it close to 40 times a game. Burmeister is going to throw it 25 to 30. His completion percentage is a little down. But when he's on, he's always, look, opening game of the year, they beat North Carolina. You go, maybe this is a different team under Justin, under Justin Puente. But I know whether it's Manny Diaz, the head coach, Manny Diaz, the defensive coordinator, has always had a ton of respect for Justin Puente. Really impressed with the tr things he tries to do offensively. A bunch of different looks in the run game. Of course, Burmeister is also an issue, and they've got some guys that can make plays down the field. Defensively, they are 60th in total defense. They're not the same defense as they were scheme-wise under Bud Foster. They have some good players, but I, probably the most common denominator uh, between uh, their defense now and old Virginia Tech is they're still investing in their defensive line. They do. They're powerful, and they're a hard-nosed bunch. They recruit a personality to that side of the football that really hasn't changed. I was a a big Bud Foster fan until <laughs> you played Miami every year, right? I liked his style of defense. He would dare you to throw the football. But more importantly, they pursue the football. They're good tacklers. They're fundamentally sound. And, you know, Josh, you're right. You talked about this as being the second game you look for on the schedule every year. This is a rivalry game. Whether people will claim it nationally or not, it is a rivalry game for Miami and for Virginia Tech. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it should, like we said, it should bring out the best in, in both teams defensively. And not quite, well, I mean, Bud Foster was just in your face. We're going to stuff the run, try and make plays down the field. Good luck. And it's, it's, a little, it's changed a little bit, but they've always had good defensive linemen. Some teams have had success running the football against them a little bit this year. Throwing the ball has been a little trickier. And again, for Tyler Van Dyke, it's seeing Virginia Tech, it's seeing a different look, it's marching through the ACC. But I think, like we talked about before, one thing we know about him, whether it starts fast or starts slow, he, he never gives in. And, and I, that's something I think we should all have a, little, a great deal of confidence in. Hurricanes and Hokies, and we'll have the keys to the game when we come back. With you Health Virtual Clinics, you can see our experts in every specialty, wherever you are. 
University of Miami health system providers are available here for all your health care needs. All you need is a phone or tablet to schedule a virtual visit with us. See a UHealth provider virtually today or at a time that's convenient for you. Visit umiamihealth.org slash virtual clinics or call 305-243-4000. Thanks, Road Warrior. So long, happy little blue car. No matter what you call your car. Goodbye, Speed Demon. Or why you're letting it go. AutoNation will buy it, and you don't have to buy one from us. We're paying top dollar right now. So go to AutoNation.com or come see us for a super easy appraisal. Get paid on the spot, and you can deposit it the same day. Visit any AutoNation store or AutoNation.com. What drives you drives us.